4.1 number 4. Here we have a system of two linear equations and we want to solve it by graphing. So what we're going to need to do is look at our first equation, get three points to plot, and we'll graph it on a rectangular coordinate system. And we're going to look at our second equation, also get three points to plot, and we'll graph that one on the same graph, and we'll see where the two intersect. So starting with x minus y equals minus 1, let's go ahead and put in x is 0. So if x is 0, we get 0 minus y equals minus 1, or minus y equals minus 1. And dividing both sides by negative 1, we get y equals 1. So x is 0, y is 1. If I put in x, or how about let's do y is 0, that will keep it easy. If I do y is 0, I get x take away 0 equals minus 1. And that just gives me x is minus 1, because the 0 can go away. And we can get one point just to be safe. Make sure we do have a straight line. So let's see what happens if we put in x is 1. If I put in x is 1, I get 1 minus y equals negative 1. Solving for y, first take away 1 on both sides, minus y equals minus 2. Divide by minus 1 both sides, we get y equals 2. All right, so we're going to use those three points when we make our graph. Before we graph that one, let's go ahead and get our three points for the other equation. So for x plus y equals 5, let's go ahead and put in x is 0 and that gives us y is 5. Let's put in y is 0. If y is 0, I get x plus 0 equals 5. So now x is 5. And one extra point just to be safe, let's go ahead and put in x is, how about 2? We can put in whatever we want. That gives us 2 plus y equals 5. Taking away 2 on both sides we get y equals 3. So now for both equations, we have three ordered pairs. Let's go ahead and graph them. And it's good for these systems to have graph paper to keep your work nice and neat, and then you can transcribe it over onto my math lab after you do the graph out. And let's see, we want to be going, if we look at our points again, we want our scale to definitely go for up to 5 for y and up to 5 for x. And as far as the negative direction, the most it has to go is negative 1. So it looks like we'll be pretty good if we make our scale going, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, that'll do it pretty well. So let's say each square is worth 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we go f minus 5 to 5 in each direction. One, two, three, four, five. And now we can graph our points. So for the first equation, our first point was 0, 1. So 0, 1. Next point was minus 1, 0. Minus 1, 0. And then 1, 2. 1, 2. And there's our first line. So go through the center of all three points. Extend your line so there's plenty of room for the intersection to happen. Second line, we had the first point, 0, 5. 0, 5. Next point was 5, 0. 5, 0. And then 2, 3 was our checkpoint. 2, 3. And it just happened to fall on the other line by coincidence. And we make sure our line goes through the middle. And there is the intersection. The intersection point is the solution of the system. So the intersection is 2, 3. 
So that is solving the system by graphing. And you can always double check by making sure the point 2, 3 satisfies both equations in the system. x minus y equals minus 1 and x plus y equals 5. So first the x minus y equals minus 1. If I have 2 minus 3, yes, that equals minus 1. If I have 2 plus 3, yes, that equals 5. And then you know for sure you did it right.